Hey, everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Hey, Allie. Rudy Gobert has had his skeptics. He said, quote, no one ever thought I could be an NBA player or one of the leaders on my team. It's the story of my life and something that I embrace. The better you get, the more people talk. So I take every criticism as a compliment. Either way, you cannot let it affect you. Brian? Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The backcourt, it's Russell and Edwards. Kyle Anderson is out there with Torrey and Prince. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And for the Clippers, the two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Jackson in at the point. And at this point, we're just about halfway through the season. Some teams, Clark, playing great basketball right now. And the real challenge is to maintain that if you're one of those teams, to continue to play at a high level, to continue to trust and put in the work to perform. Pass to Leonard. And here's Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Shoots. The rebound by the Timberwolves. George against Edwards. Pass to Anderson. The three from Russell. Connects from downtown. Russell. I thought the defender played that one pretty well, but Russell with that quick trigger release like a staple gun. Jackson, pass to Leonard. Back to Jackson. Now George, guarded by Edwards. Batum, right side. Russell against Jackson. Over Russell. The 15-footer is good. The jumper is so consistent for Jackson. He's got a great touch on his shot and good accuracy as well. Back to Russell. Pass to Gobert. Here's Prince. There's the triple. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. Jackson outside. Now here's Leonard. George outside. And here's Batum. Now Jackson. His last outing, we saw him score 13. It's tipped. Edwards for three. Drains the triple. And, you know, for Edwards, it's about hitting the three consistently. This will help take his game to the next level. Leonard outside. Back to Jackson. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Misses from short range. That's a rarity for him, especially against the soft defense. Outside Russell. Let's it go from deep. The shot no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. Winning the season series last year in a battle of middle-of-the-pack teams. Yeah, they were able to make the plays to come out on top, but it really could have gone either way. And you could say the same for tonight's game. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Minnesota. You have to give them credit for their defense here in the early stages. I mean, they've shown tremendous anticipation on the same page as a unit defensively, especially on those block shots. And also the coaching staff has to love the hustle so far. Just playing with great energy, getting out and converting in transition. And Clark, how about the progress of the Timberwolves? Love what they've done, B.A. They put the pieces in place to be a playoff regular and still the youth to grow in the long term. That's a nice combination, especially when you look at a guy like Anthony Edwards. He's special.
Looking at the 2K leaderboard, these are the squads who bring it on defense. The blocks leaders, the Timberwolves, number one. And what's been most impressive about this team is how intense they've been on the defensive end. It's not just one or two guys getting blocks for them. It's been a team effort, which is why they lead the league in blocks per game. George outside. Zubats against Gobert. Zubats passes to Jackson. Off target from outside. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. He just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Boy, you get everything you want from a young star in Anthony Edwards. I mean, excellent all-out energy in every minute. He's on the floor. Plays hard and uh, with great intensity, and he's got a commitment to working hard in practice. That is a uh, that is a really good combination for one of your franchise players. And he knocks down the first one. Well, practice certainly has paid off when you look at Anthony Edwards' stat line, Clark. Yeah, improvement across the board, B.A., and that doesn't just happen by accident or osmosis. you got to put the work in. In almost every category, his game is only getting stronger and better. The future, extremely bright for this young man, especially if he can keep that arrow green and going forward. But one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Edwards. He's averaging 30 a game, continuing to prove how effective of a scorer he is. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set for him. Yeah, I think he can. And stolen by Gobert. Here's Prince. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And here's Edwards outside. Hits a three-pointer. Edwards. Edwards got seven. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. George outside. Pass to Batum. And here's Jackson. Up and over Russell. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got four rebounds in the game. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. And finished off by Anderson. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now here's Leonard. What a tremendous game he played against Boston. Kicks it to George. Here he goes, and Gobert with a block. And just a top-tier shot blocker in the league. Gobert's massive wingspan is a huge reason why he wipes away all those shots. The Clippers shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Pass to Zubats. Kicks it out to Jackson. Fast break, Minnesota. Here's Prince. And he banks in the layup. Prince has got his second basket on the night. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. You're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. I found it was an interesting game. Anything they couldn't get from their starters, they got from their reserves. Well, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time, bench players that contribute. And last game, their bench came alive.
And the Clippers making a change here. Morris has checked in. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Timberwolves. What a season thus far for them. Second place in the conference. And of course, the Los Angeles Clippers, two spots below. When I look at the Clippers, nobody really knew what to expect from them at the start of this year. But as the season has progressed, it's clear that they are contenders. Abundantly clear. I mean, they can compete with any team in the league, and I think they still have some upside room for improvement. Edwards can't hit. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. With impressive quickness, Jackson is usually able to stay a step or two ahead of the defense. At the line for L.A., Reggie Jackson at the strike. At the line for two. Shoot two. He misses the free throw. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Usually, free throws are a formality for him. I didn't expect that result when he stepped up there. Edwards has gone 2 of 5 from the floor. Leonard passes to George. Powell with it. There's Jackson with the 3. Sinks it. Now 2 of 7 on the night. He's just 2 for 7 from the field. Trying to work his way into a rhythm. Outside Edwards. Pass to Prince. Three-pointer. Leonard pulls down the board. Los Angeles has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Gets it down to single digits. George has got his second basket of the night. Paul George has become such an assertive and confident player. He knows exactly when he's in position to get that catch and shoot off. Shot is good by Edwards. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for him later on. Now here's George. 23 points for him last game against Boston. Back to Powell. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. You know, that's not how you screen for your guys, but ultimately, they still found a way to come away with the hoop. So for the Clippers, man, he's checked in for George, and it's Kennard in for Jackson. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Reed's checked in. One shot. Minnesota, they've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Back to Russell. Left side, Edwards. Clock at 6. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Edwards got 12 points in the game. And for the Clippers, they're shooting just 38% so far in this one. Pass to man. Now Leonard. Powell outside. Here's Mann. Here's Leonard. From down in the low post, it goes. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now here's Edwards. He had 37 points in the win against Portland. And he didn't just put up big points. He beat everyone to the boards. When it goes in, it looks pretty. When it doesn't, question the shot difficulty. Pass to Kennard. Now Powell. Here's Mann. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Kennard can't get it to go. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Anderson can't get it to go. The Clippers trail. 
Here's Powell. Again, the Clippers score. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Pass to Prince. Anderson with it. It's Edwards on the wing. Powell covers. Edwards can't hit. Los Angeles has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Let's it go from 11. He goes up again. And Powell with the lay-in. Seven points in the game. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. Back to Russell. No one near him. That one doesn't drop. And the Clippers will come the other way. 149 left to play in the first quarter. Kennard against Russell. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Russell. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Clippers. Luke Kennard taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls. Some changes for Minnesota. McDaniels is checked in for Anderson. Noel comes in for Prince. And it's McLaughlin in for Russell. And so he hits both productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Minnesota in the lead. Outside Edwards. Pass to Noel. And the foul called on Luke Kennard. Luke Kennard. That's his first, first foul of the game. Foul. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Close games often come down to who makes the big plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. minute 29 left in the opening quarter now here's Reed on the wing Noel shot clock at six shoots over Powell Ooh, once again off the mark by Minnesota I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter yeah I like the way they're setting the tone really playing with a lot of energy here at the start and you like the balance here not just falling in love with the three ball here's McLaughlin following the score by the Clippers Inside, Noel. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And the Timberwolves lead by two. Kennard on the wing. Up top, Morris takes the three, fires in the triple. Morris has got five. And that's what they want to do get him open looks early. Here's McLaughlin, defended by Kennard. Pass to Noel. They grab their own miss. Can't blame them. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Out to Powell. Here's Mann. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Second personal, fourth team foul. At the line for your Clippers. To the strike, Terrence Mann. At the line for one. it for and the first quarter. The, first quarter. the Clippers on top, up four. Your and quarter. back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Come on. 
again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Well, what I love is the tremendous belief in their bench. They were looking for points and the reserves delivered. And you know, when the bench is playing such a big role early, that certainly allows the starters to stay fresh throughout the game. Jackson and Powell make up the backcourt. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Coffee in at the three, the small forward. That's who's out there for the Clippers. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, Nas Reed initially went undrafted in 2019. Hey, B.A., that happens to plenty of talented guys. The NBA is a hard league. And a lot of good players have to sometimes go through things to make it. Luckily, systems like the G League give players like Nas Reed an opportunity to grow and go there. So you keep growing like Reed did and eventually you might find yourself in the NBA. He's off on the first. The officials have been a little stingier with the whistle recently. Clark, you think fewer fouls called is good for the game? I like to see the game play with a certain amount of flow. So you got to give some latitude to the physicality and I am in favor of fewer fouls being called. The officials do a good job, I think, of judging advantage disadvantage and it's much more appealing to the fans when the game flows more fluidly and the second free throw is good the Clippers in the lead here's George and that makes it three for four he's looking good how about George going to the floater he's got some tricks up his sleeve way to go PG and the ball out of play the Clippers will have it Jackson outside. And there's another one for the Clippers. A shoot first player. The key for Jackson is taking shots that come within the offensive game plan. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's Noel. Now covers. Just five to shoot. Knocks it loose. Oh, George with a steal. Minutes Out of bounds. Ball. It'll be Timberwolves ball. Minnesota's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Pass to Gobert. Here's McLaughlin. Rebound by the Clippers. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And that's helped them stake this lead. Played it in with a nice Jordan touch off the window. I like that. Punch it inside. You usually end up with a good shot and or get fouled. Jackson outside. George passes to Zubats. Powell in the post. The jump hook. Second chance effort. It's blocked by Gobert. Puts it up from 12. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. The Clippers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Pass to George. Jacks up a three. He buries it from three. George has got nine points. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding. Let him eat. Go bear with it. He's guarded by Zubats. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, a big trade over the summer, bringing Rudy Gobert to the Wolves. And it's a bit of a fresh start for Gobert, a main star of this team that is loaded with talent but needed that defensive anchor. for Gobert. A defensive stalwart. Gobert knows this team expects him to be their anchor as well as rebound the rock. 
Prince has checked in for Minnesota. D'Angelo Russell comes in for McLaughlin. Both good from the line that time. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Kicks it out to Jackson. Let's the three fly. And it's Noel with a rebound. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be. But so far, that's not been the case. Los Angeles has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Deflected. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Powell. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Anthony Edwards is checked in for Noel. For Minnesota, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Russell into the lane. Great D that time from Zubats. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Here's Jackson. Kicks it to George. Second chance shot. Minnesota with a rebound. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Kennard against Edwards. Takes a 13-footer. Kennard with the rebound. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Back to Jackson. Six to shoot. It's blocked by Gobert. Stolen by Russell. Outside McDaniels. Batum pulls it in. Batum's got five rebounds in the game. Over McDaniels. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Timberwolves trail. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Prince. In his last outing, eight points for him. Back to Edwards. From deep. Sinks that one. Now shooting five of ten and looking sharp. Boy, he strikes again from range. His fourth in this game after draining three in the first period. Timeout called. The Clippers. Everyone, give a big round of applause for young Clippers Perizetsky. Zubat passes to Jackson. And here's Kennard. Guarded by Edwards. Now here's Zubat. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And Gobert with a block. In transition. And here's Edwards outside. And they get it back. Tries again. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. You know, with his strength and body control, Edwards should be an and-one machine at this level. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Clippers. 
Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. You know, another thing they've done really well, I think, is get quality shots from behind the three-point line and knock them down, too. And it's tied up with that one. So much confidence coming from Anthony Edwards. You can just see it. This is a guy who knows he belongs in the league and is hungry to be great. Now here's Zubats, averaging around six a game. Back to Jackson. Just five on the clock. Shot to end the cold streak. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got his sixth rebound on the night. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Back to Prince. Pass to Gobert. From deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got four rebounds in the game. Jackson finds Kennard. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Minnesota has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Outside Edwards. Here's Prince. He's got five. The three from Russell. Paul George pulls down the board. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Releases. Russell with the rebound. Russell's got four rebounds now. Back to Prince. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It goes on Nick Batum. You know, Torian Prince is not the guy you want to send to the foul line. At the line for the Timberwolves, Torian Prince shooting two. the free throw drops in for him. Well, I like the fact that Prince um, does a good job picking his spots. He's not a guy that forces things. Uh, kind of lets the game come to him naturally. also good so he hits both free throws I love it in attack mode drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line my kind of hoop straight ahead playing downhill and physical now here's Jackson seven points in the game here's coffee misses and the dry spell continues Anderson against Leonard. Edwards for three. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Boy, you love to see Edwards shine on offense like this. I know it's got to be making his coach happy, too. Here's Coffee. Here's Leonard. Anderson pulls it down. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero balls. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Good, Edwards. The Clippers trail. Pass to man. Knocked loose. Stolen by Russell. Here's Prince. He's got seven. He 
It's hauled in by the Clippers. Morris has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Jackson. Basket counts. Jackson's got four this quarter. Minnesota has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Outside Edwards. Back to Russell. Right through the D for the layup. Russell's got his second bucket on the night. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. You know, when D'Angelo Russell came into the league, he was really primarily seen as a point guard, and that's what I like most about him, his vision and his passing ability, but he's actually changed that image and impression over time. Four on the clock, and that one's good. Man. And here's Minnesota now. They're on a 20 to 7 run. Russell to pass to Reed. Edwards for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. The evolution of D'Lo has been interesting to watch, Clark. I like how he's been willing to play whatever position asked of him. Yeah, B.A., I like that too. And he said it before himself that he prefers playing shooting guard. But I tell you what, he also looks very comfortable running the offense too. Risky strategy here. I mean, shifting their offense more to the outside? Mm, we'll see. Really good point. I mean, you want to keep that balance and attacking inside creates space for shooters and having shooters creates opportunities inside. So it works hand in glove. Now here's Russell. A 35-point game for him in the win against the Trailblazers in Portland. And his effort carried over to the defensive end. He came away with three steals and was a pest in general all night. And here are the Clippers now. After the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. Back to Leonard. Pass to Jackson. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Jackson's got six here in the quarter. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Checked in for Jackson. There's a minute 12 left in the second period. Here's Noel on the take. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Coffee. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Good job there by Leonard setting that screen. 46 seconds left to play in the half. Shot is up. And again, it's Minnesota converting. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Here's Leonard. Back to Coffee. Let's go with a three. 
On target from range. Coffee's got five now. Over his career, Kawhi has become a willing passer. One of his many improvements since being drafted in 2011. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Leonard. And again, it's the Clippers converting. And we know the expression never changes. The temperature never rises. Leonard just seems unaffected by defense oppression. It's stolen. And we've reached halftime in this one. The T-Wolves on top, up by eight. And we'll be back right after this. The Timberwolves. Coming on to the court. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. And you know, Anthony Edwards has been really making it happen, guys. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, you know, the stroke looks fantastic. Even when he's had a hand in his face, it hasn't affected him at all. Russell with the ball. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. The backcourt is Russell and Edwards. Rudy Gobert is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Prince in a small forward. Los Angeles has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Batum. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. And you know, Batum certainly has the ability to score inside. At the line for LA, Nicholas Batum. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And, you know, Nick Batum's length provides a huge bonus to his team. He's able to play and guard multiple positions. And so he makes both from the line. Minnesota in the lead. Russell, the pass to Edwards. Back to Russell. Pass to Prince. 4-3. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one. You know, the NBA is all about the three-point shot right now, and Prince can really shoot it from out there. Now here's Jackson. Over to the wing. Up top, George. The three is up. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got seven rebounds in the game. Russell with the ball. He's picked up by Zubats. They get it again. And that's exactly what you need. Everybody, big and small, crashing the glass. Jackson, pass to Batum. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Batum is accustomed to getting pushed around a bit, so he's a tough guy who can embrace the contact. Nicholas Batum. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. gets them both. Minnesota has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Edwards finds Russell. And here's Anderson. It's Edwards on the wing. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Edwards got 33 points. Well, the defense trying to throw Edwards off with some contact, but he smartly stays focused on his shot. George against Edwards. Leonard on the wing. From the arc. Drills it from deep. Leonard's got seven points. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball move. Outside Edwards. 
Pass to Prince. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Leonard. Leonard, double team. Now here's Jackson. Offline with a three. Edwards, a pass to Russell. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. Despite the wiry frame, taking it up strong inside, and D'Angelo will get free throws. D'Angelo Russell at the line for two. Shooting two. First one falls for him. You know, Russell's known for his scoring ability, but I like the fact that he's eager and hungry to continue to improve. And both free throws good for Russell. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. George outside. Leonard outside. Back to George. Fires from deep. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. And Minnesota calls time here. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. Here's Russell. Seven points in the game. Pass to Edwards. Back to Russell. Five on the clock. Releases. And the jumper is on the mark. Russell. Russell's got nine. The Clippers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Leonard outside. Russell against Jackson. George outside. The three. Minnesota with a rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Russell to pass to Edwards. Now Anderson. Outside Russell. Launches a three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. George with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Here's Batum. Blocked! Anderson passes to Edwards. Here's Prince. Pass to Gobert. Back to Prince. Outside Russell. Shot clock at five. Hits the trifecta. And now a ten-point Minnesota lead. He's taking what he can get here as a three in each half. Now here's George, guarded by Edwards. George against Edwards. George passes to Zubat. Leonard outside. This one for three. Knocks down the long J. Leonard's got six in the quarter. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Now here's Gobert. 
His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Just impressive for Gobert. So capable in the mid-range. Here's Jackson to the middle. Here's Batum. Got a hand on it. Russell against Jackson. Here's Prince. 12 points for him. Pass to Gobert. Outside for Russell. And Minnesota again with a bucket. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Timberwolves. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. The shooting's been great, but also how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. And the Clippers call time here. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. <laughs> they need to rethink their approach defensively. He's shown no signs of stopping. And the Clippers making a change here. Canard's checked in. McDaniels has checked in for the Timberwolves. Noel comes in for Prince. Jackson, the pass to George. Now Zubats, defended by Gobert. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Great look there, but off target. Jackson with it. He's picked up by Edwards. Jackson, the pass to George. For three. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. George has got 15 points. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. Outside Edwards. From deep. It doesn't go for him. The Clippers go the other way with it. He got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his third. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. That's good from George. And just one of the most complete players in the game today. George's two-way game and strong leadership traits are reasons why he's a star. Morris, he's checked in for the Clippers. Norm Powell comes in for Jackson. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Reed's checked in for Anthony Edwards. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Minnesota has gone two for five from three since halftime. Outside Russell. Here's Gobert. Clock at six. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. Los Angeles has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. George, no good. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. And the shot's good. Here's George. He's got 16. Kennard outside. George against McDaniels. Free throw line jumper. George's shot is off. For Minnesota, they've gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Outside McDaniels. Here's Noel. And the three off target. 
And the Clippers trail. George for three. Yes. And it's Leonard with the assist that time. Leonard's got four assists now tonight. He's starting to pick it up from downtown. Made just one in the first half, but he's drained three more since. Here's Noel. Six points for him. Here's Gobert. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nas Reed. That's his first foul of the game. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Man, he's checked in for the Clippers. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. And the dunk by Leonard. Boy, a wicked dunk by Leonard, showing this defense just how explosive he can be. Russell, the pass to McDaniels. Pass to Noel. The three. He drops it from range. Noel's got nine points. You know, they've got to make him earn those three. You play off of him, and he's automatic from that distance. Kennard with it, guarded by Russell. Here's Mann. Here's Powell. Pass to Mann. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Reed's got four rebounds now. You know, one of the things that sets McDaniels apart is his ability to guard virtually any position on the floor. He creates major matchup problems with that versatility. Now here's Gobert. Back to Noel. Puts up a three. It's rebounded by Morris. The Clippers shooting about 40% so far in the third. Talking about McDaniel's defense. That's how he got a lot of minutes early in his career. You know, a lot of guys make their mark defensively early on, which buys them time to develop in other areas. And it's an ideal way for young players to contribute right away. If you're stressing defense, then he's a guy that you want on your team. The Clippers have gotten 7 of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Pass to man. Morris against Reed. Got it. He has seven. He's doing his best to carry him, fellas, but he can only do so much. Things would be different for them if he was getting a little more help. McDaniels finds Russell. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Leonard against Gobert. Here's Reed. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And the Timberwolves lead by seven. Pass to man. Now here's Leonard, all alone. Reed with the rebound. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there. And neither can he. Out left to the wing. Shot from 16. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Now Leonard. He's got 12. Down low. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Leonard's got 10 points in just the second half. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. And Minnesota calls time here. Yeah, coach, no doubt, wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout.
McLaughlin. He's checked in for Kennard. Anderson's checked in for Minnesota. McLaughlin comes in for Russell. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Noel. To the paint. Here's McLaughlin. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. Now here's Powell. Nine points in the game. Pass to man. Here's Coffee. Shot from the top of the key. And he gets that one. Coffee's got his third basket on the night right there. Outside McDaniels. 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Launches it. Nails it from three. McDaniels got five. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Leonard for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The T-Wolves on top. They're up by five. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Hal and George are out on the wings. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubats at center. And it's Jackson in at the one. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Kicks it to George. And stolen by Edwards. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Prince has checked in for the Timberwolves. One shot. The Clippers trail. George outside. Pass to Powell. Takes a three. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got four rebounds now. And Edwards slams it in. Boy, the athleticism of Edwards is something to behold. Love watching him sky up to throw it down. Jackson, a pass to Powell. Got a piece of it. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Edwards. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting Shooting the shots he Minnesota. wants and delivering Anthony in a big Edwards. way. Shooting one. One shot. We throw good, Edwards. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime. 
Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. McDaniels from long range sinks the tray. And the Timberwolves lead by 16. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. George passes to Jackson. Will it go? George's shot is off. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him, and this came up short on the triple. And he comes up with a bucket. <laughs> I just love the bubble. Jackson, the pass to Powell. Jackson outside. Pass to Zubats. Shot clock at six. And Kyle Anderson is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Personal foul. First team foul. Jackson outside. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. He went a decent amount of time before his first turnover there. It's really been a good, safe stretch of basketball from him to this point. D'Angelo Russell, he's checked in for McLaughlin. For Minnesota, they've gotten off to a perfect 5 for 5 so far in the fourth. Pulls it from the top of the key. Paul George pulls it in. George has got four rebounds in the game. To the inside. Jackson down low. Guarded by Edwards. Here's Batum. Rebound Minnesota. Oh, man. He can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. To the paint. Here's Powell. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Just so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal attacking basketball. I like that. Taking two shots. Falls for Powell. And he can't hit the second. The Timberwolves shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Edwards has got 43 points. Boy, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident in taking on defenders and finishing. Powell passes to Jackson. Powell outside. To the wing, right side. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Gobert's checked in. Rudy Gobert. It's Powell on the wing. Batum outside. The three ball. Gets the three to fall. The timing by Batum. Really good at recognizing when to fire off the catch. Outside Edwards. Back to Russell. Outside Edwards. Shot clock at six. Pulls it. Rebound by the Clippers. Batum's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Jackson. Inside. And stolen by Edwards. Here's Prince from downtown. And a 
another three for Minnesota. Capable of finding his open guys. Edwards getting better at improving his overall floor awareness. Nice to see. Batum with it. George outside. And the call is going to be, yes, on a legal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Russell blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Timberwolves lead by 21. Jackson, the pass to George. Plenty of exciting rookie talent in the 2022 class, including a few breakouts, Clark. What are your thoughts on this class overall? Well, B.A., I agree with you. I mean, a lot of talent. They're an awful lot of fun to watch. I'm sure you would agree. I mean, a very talented class. What strikes me is how prepared some of these guys were to step in and contribute to winning. Here's Prince. Powell covers. And here's Edwards outside. And another three for Minnesota. This has been a running theme for him. Hit a number of threes in the first half. Now nails another. Back to George. Jackson outside. Clock at six. Powell left side. 13 feet out. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Outside Russell. Pass to Gobert. Here's Prince. Anderson finds Edwards. There's the three. Sure, from three-point range. Three-pointer. Edwards has got 49 in the game. Flashing pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. Here's Zubats, defended by Gobert. Kicks it out to Jackson. Over Russell. And again, it's the Clippers. Oh, man, check out the handle. I didn't know he had that in his game. Pass to Prince. Edwards for three. And got it! Another basket! <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Russell against Jackson. Powell outside. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or do you think that was an anomaly? Uh, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season, there's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive in the years to come. Here's George, and again, it's the Clippers. George making nice use of the mid-range look right there. Really good at creating space for that shot. Edwards, a pass to Russell. Now Gobert. Pass to Anderson. Outside for Russell. Back to Anderson. From behind the arc. That falls. Nice yeah, assist Anderson. by Russell. Three points. Russell's got his fifth assist in this one. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either. So that's a double-edged sword there. George outside. Back to Powell. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Now here's Russell. Pass to Edwards. And in international soccer, we see the worst teams relegated to a lower tier. Clark, you think the NBA needs more consequences for losing? You know, I don't think there are more needed 
Brian, when you consider the fact that flattening the lottery odds was a step in the right direction recently, and then you think about the play-in tournament as well, I think that too adds a level of disincentive for losing. So right now, I think the NBA is in a pretty good place in terms of um, dissuading teams from losing. That free throw, no good. And it's a completely new group for the Clippers. He hits the second from the line. Here's Preston. Pass to Boston. Here's Coffey. Here's Preston. Five to shoot. Here's Boston. The shot off that time. And Minnesota will come the other way. Outside Edwards. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's McLaughlin. He got it again! Anthony Sensational! Edwards. Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. <laughs> B.A., it feels like he can't miss. Los Angeles has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Coffey. Here's Livers. Picked his pocket. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Edwards with it. And the NBA enjoying the highest attendance numbers in the history of the league. Clark, compare the fan experience now to where it was in the 80s when you played. B.A., I don't know if there is any comparison. I mean, when you factor in the popularity of the league now with the various social media platforms that exist, the star magnitude power of the game's biggest stars worldwide, I just think it's a different time. More teams, more exposure, more platforms for exposure, and a real understanding of how to market the NBA globally. So fans have a way of engaging that didn't exist in the early 80s. Shot clock at two, and they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. Reeds checked in for the Timberwolves. Forbes comes in for Anthony Edwards. Into the lineup for the Timberwolves. Nas Reed. Bryn Forbes. For Los Angeles, they've gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Timberwolves. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And they really wanted this one. It pushes their win total up to 21. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. The stats tell us that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Anthony Edwards. So impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just That's didn't know how to adjust. And so it's Minnesota easily grabbing this one. Joining us a statement game. road victory. So a impressive. Statement in DBA. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Mark Kellogg, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long, everyone.